Middle's classmates were quick to react to news of his death today. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez continues our complete team coverage from Bel Air High School. Joining us live now, Rosemary. <laughs> Well, Stephanie and Eric, I can tell you most of the students and staff here at Beller High School have actually gone home for the day after an incredibly emotional day. Now, I talked to some students here and they say Ryan was part of their friend group. Obviously, they're still grieving after the loss of not only their classmate, but someone they love so, so dearly. Now, some students said the ambiance over at the school was deep sadness. The friends I talked to say they still can't believe it was their friend who was killed this weekend. When I asked if they knew Ryan, they immediately said yes. They were proud to call him their friend. The small group of students I spoke to said Ryan was always one call away, and they described him as a good person who was always willing to help others. Some of those friends told me that last time they spoke and saw Ryan was on the day of that shooting. They say Ryan was encouraging them to go out to that party, but none of them decided to attend. Like, he was taken way too early. Like, he had a lot to prove. Like, he was doing a lot of things for our community and, like, for our friend group. Like, he was really someone we could look up to. He was really a, a role model to us. And it's important to note that officials with Isleta Independent School District have confirmed that Ryan was a student here at Beller High School. Additionally, they said they had counselors here on hand for both students and teachers who needed the extra help at this time. And coming up on ABC 7 at 6, we'll have more on that conversation with Ryan's friends. But for now, reporting in Beller High School in the Lower Valley, Rosemary Montañez, ABC 7.